This is an in-depth video instructing you how to create a custom patient-facing fillable and signable form that you will enable to be assigned to any client via their patient portal. In this example, I will be creating a form that will be made available for assignment to all new clients in the practice, no matter what provider they will be seeing for treatment. From the owner or manager role, first go to practice settings and choose online forms. If you have any forms already in use, they will appear on this page. In this case, I'm interested in creating an all new form for my practice to use. Go to the plus new button in the upper right corner. Here you will see forms templates that you may choose from. Since I'm creating my own unique form rather than using a pre-created template, I'm going to choose blank form. Now I have a starting point for a new form. You'll see form on the left side of the page and the form element creator on the right side of the page. The first thing I'm going to change on my form is the title by going to the right side editing tool and changing the display name to Awesome Form, which is a name that will be viewable by the client. The internal name is not seen by the client. Next, let's indicate how this form should be used. Auto-assign means that the form will be automatically available for any new client who has not already registered a username and password in the patient portal. Selecting clinical form means that the completed form will only be viewable by those with owner, therapist, or records custodian roles enabled. The completed form will not be viewable by non-clinical staff members. Shared with practice means that you are creating this form as one that all providers in your practice will be using for their clients. Next, let's start adding some elements to this form by clicking the plus add form elements on the right side of the form builder. An element is a section of a form. And for most forms, you'll be using at least three or more element types to create a finished form. You'll notice that there are several categories of form elements that you can select from. Instructional text, which is a words on the page, and it does not offer an entry field for the client to complete. Free text, which allows you to offer a descriptor and a field. Two of these options include fields that will only allow for an email address and an e-signature field. Multiple choice fields that offer a descriptor and an option for a client to choose amongst a selection of answers that you provide them. Date fields, which ask for the client to enter a date only. And auto text fields that will automatically fill the field with information from the client's profile or the practice's profile, saving the client and you time in creating that section. The first element I want to add to my form is some instructional text. So I'm going to choose that element now. You'll notice that some nonsense text enters for you. I'm going to delete that text on the right side of the form builder and replace it with my own text. I can copy this text directly into the edit box from a Word document or other type of document. I can then edit the size of the text, the boldness of the text, and the alignment of the text here. I can preview what I've created on my form so far by clicking the preview button, and then return to the form by clicking Exit Preview. Let's add the next form element by clicking Add Form Element, and this time I'm going to one of the elements that is fillable by the client, Single Line Text Field. Under the field label, type your descriptor or question here. I'm going to use the question, How many pets do you have? I can then choose to make this a required field that has the client have to answer the question. 
I can also give them some help text in the Answer field to make it obvious that this is where they type their answer. And right now it's showing me that the width of this question is taking up the entire width of the page. So since this is a short question that also requires a short answer, I'm going to change the width to half the page. So I'll slide this to a 6. Let's preview our form now. Now, let's go back and add our next form element. This time, let's use the multi-line text field element. This field operates just like a single line text field, but allows more room for the client to place his answer. I will again alter the width of this field to 6 and make this a required field. You'll notice that this entered the element to the right of the previous element since each is only taking up half a page each. Next, let's add another form element. A drop-down list for clients to choose a pre-selected answer. So let's enter my question under label, adjust the width if we wish, make it a required field, and I'm going to use the simple drop-down style, and in this case, I'm going to limit the client to choosing only a single answer on this field. However, changing this selector allows for them to choose more than one answer for your list, if that makes sense for the question. Down below, enter your possible answers to the question you listed above. You can add additional fields by clicking Add Option, or delete an unneeded field by clicking the red X to the right. Now let's do the same thing with this next element, a checkbox element. It works exactly the same way as we saw in the drop-down element. I'm going to limit this one to one-third of the page by selecting four here. And I want to use this drop-down for my next element as well. So I'm just going to copy this field and then make edits on the new field. Next, let's select a range field. This offers the client a slider to use to answer the question. Now let's look at a preview of our form, which shows the many elements we can use to create prompts or questions, and the ways that clients can provide the answers. Now perhaps I find a mistake and I want to go correct it. So let's go back to our form by clicking Exit Preview and then go to the form on the left and click in the element I wish to edit. This opens up the Edit tool on the right where I can then change the text. If I wish to remove an element, just click Delete. Now, I would like to enter a signature box and a date field and an auto text element that will automatically import the client's name and date of birth onto the form when they complete it, saving the client time from having to fill that in on their own. Voila! You have made your first form. Click Save at the top to save your progress. However, this form has not yet been enabled to be assigned to the group's clients. So if you're happy with your form, and this form should be enabled for all clinicians in the practice to use, and this form should be auto-assigned to any new client, update the form settings, then click Save, then select Publish. Now that I have my new form created, whenever I have a new client, my form entitled Awesome Form will automatically be assigned to the newly invited client's portal. If you have any clients who have already registered in the portal, but you would like them to get your form, 
Just navigate to the client's Docs and Forms screen, click the Assign Online Form button, and select your awesome form. The form is now in the patient's portal waiting for them to be able to view and complete the form. When the patient has completed the form, you will see that indicated in the patient's Docs and Forms page like so. This concludes our training. Thank you so much for watching.